This school massive, man. <laughs> Jeez. Wait, wait, wait. How y'all feeling? How y'all feeling? You wanna run it again? So boom, what's going on? Right now we are at Miami Springs and we're gonna film a video that has to do with um, you know, our training business, elite skills. It's gonna be kind of our own type of 10,000 hours content. So you know it's gonna be something really cool like that. We got some people that we train, so we're gonna go to their games and stuff and you know, coach them out a little bit, you know, have a little pep talk with them. And you know, just 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 see if what we're teaching them is being implemented in the game, stuff like that. So yeah, right now as y'all can see, we're at Miami Springs. I've never been here before, but um, yeah, we're gonna see what it's like, bro. So it's gonna be like my kind of 10,000 hours. Um, yeah, man. How y'all like the consistently consistency? How the consistency been so far, bro? It's not an addiction. So right now we just pulled up and I see the son in the corner. It looked like he's having a huddle with his team. So I'm like walk over and just talk to him, see where his head at. You know, like, like see how he's doing. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna walk over and, and see if I can try and talk to him really quickly. I think they put on that cool. I need you to show out, man. I can't even see you play, bro. How you feeling? How you feeling? Feeling good? Be confident, all right? That boy just saw. Proud of that boy, man. I'm gonna see how you play, bro. Yeah. Basically, what I told Deshaun was always be confident in yourself. You know, you gotta be your biggest hype, man. Whether you're missing shots, having turnovers, it doesn't matter. Like, you gotta keep your head high and always have confidence that the next shot or the next pass is gonna go through. So, his biggest problem right now, I would say, is just having that confidence. So giving him some confidence is always gonna be key. He got the AE ones, one leg sleeve. But his shorts, though, they too long. Like, he got everything down pat. It's just his shorts, like, they long. We gotta, you know, we're gonna tell Deshaun about that on-court swag. But yeah, I'm looking forward to, to a good game from him. I wanna see how he does. Um, his, I'm not gonna say his team looks trash, but, you know, just be confident out there. Come on, it's on. All right, so basically, like right now, the score is 31 to 11, and like the skill level for for havoc hoops is is very bad. Like I don't even want to put. Come on, Deshaun. Come on, Deshaun. I don't even want to put havoc on blast. But like the way they were warming up to the way that they look on the floor, it just doesn't look good at all. And and I get and I get, I'm getting frustrated to be honest because. Good rebound, Deshaun. Good rebound. Come on, come on. There we go. There we go. Bring it up. Bring it up. There we go. Come on. Good screen. Good screen. Where do you use it? Where do you use it? Go all the way. And one. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> you see how the game is playing. You see how the game is playing out. Deshaun is way better than these guys. Or I don't want. I don't want to say way better, but he's he's gonna give you more more effort and more more intensity on both sides of the floor. They went flat right there, meaning they had four guys on the baseline and one guy playing one on one, and the dude took, just got a turnover. Like, there's no offense in this in this in this game or in this like in this team. So they about to go into the second quarter. Deshaun just got subbed out. I don't know why he got subbed out. 
I'm thinking maybe it's because um, maybe the coach saw something he didn't like, or maybe he was tired. I'm not sure, but I'm looking for towards when he gets back in the game to be more assertive and go get the ball and just do what you want, bro. Because that's what his teammates are doing, and they're getting tired of doing it. Good point. So the game just ended. And Deshaun scored two more points, but he just got to change the narrative because I see there's some type of narrative around him. Like, you know, when you go to a program and you're, you're so everybody's just going to have that thought of you, oh, like he's and they're going to keep treating you like that until you break out of your show. Deshaun has to break out of that show, and he could break out of it right now, but he's got to be really assertive. He's got to be able to produce on the court. So, like, okay. When he gets in, he scores his points here and there. He only got in the game two times. When he gets in, he scores his points here and there. But you got to be able to produce so you don't leave the floor, right? So, um, yeah, I'm just going to talk to him about that. And, um, yeah, man, the kid has a bright future, bro. Like, he has a bright future. He doesn't, when you, there's just certain things you see about players. When they play, you just know they got it in there. Bro plays hard. So it's, it's easier to build off of a player that plays hard than a player that plays that doesn't really put his effort. Deshaun, I gotta talk to you, bro. I see when you get on the court, you score here and there and that. That's good. Your energy is good. Everything's good. But they're taking you out of the game. But I know something that's gonna allow you to stay in the game is being able to produce, like being able to keep defending, keep getting rebound steals. Like coaches like that type of stuff, and that's what they're looking for. But more than that. Just have a presence on the floor where it's like people know you're on the floor, right? Because sometimes you'll be on the floor and it'll go unnoticed. That's why sometimes they probably take you out. But like, if you stay on the floor and you keep doing things that's going to allow you to be noticed, it's going to be hard for them to take you out. So now if you just keep doing things, keep producing, now you can score and do all those other things. But you play good. I'm proud of you, bro. You just got to keep working on you. You're going to be in the lab on Tuesday, right? Yeah. I right, keep working. I'm proud of you. Ready to work. I'm kind of mad. I'm not gonna lie. Um, as a as a trainer, I wanna hit. I wanna see him succeed. And like, he did score twice on those tough lays. But it's like I gotta see more of it. I gotta see more of it. And I want him to be that that player already. And I feel like maybe that's on me. I gotta be a little more patient. Yeah, I feel like I wanted him to see what I was saying. But I probably gave him a little bit too much praise. But um. Yeah, I'm going to just be a little bit more detailed with it. Uh, we're about to go to Felipe's game. It starts at 12.15. Right now it's 12. It's about like a 10-minute drive, so we on time. But, yeah, I'm excited. Uh, it's Felipe and Isaac. They both play on the same team called Bro Hoops. <laughs> and uh, their dads basically made it together, which is tough. Like, as a dad... Like, that's, that's something I would do. I would literally make a team just for my son. I'm not going to lie, bro. We both going to be coaching our kids. <laughs> literally. Bro. Like, <laughs> bro, like, that's like, I don't know. That's just it's definitely something I would do. So, uh, it's definitely exciting that's to go see them play. Right there, bro. We're going to have something better than that. Mm. Dead body fans, remember? I used to be <laughs> <laughs> and this dude, I'm not even going to lie. This dude is just a walking bucket. Like, he just got that him attitude to him where it's like, He's going to get him up, and, like, he's going to look good doing it. So, like, I'm excited to watch him play. Um, Isaac, he's more of a, like, he's more of a, like, he needs to work on his confidence and trying to get, uh, trying to get more of, like, staying aggressive in games. Because he's definitely, like, not aggressive in games and always looking to pass as a point guard. And it's something that I definitely... Um, used to do and that's why I relate to him so much just because like I see myself in him in so many ways where he's like he's scared to shoot or he's thinking about what other people are are gonna say if he shoots the bar if he misses so it's definitely like ain't gonna be interesting to watch both of them play on the same team what's happening so we just touched down y'all see the area um second game we got to attend today after this, we got one more in Coral Springs. Um, what time is it? Ooh. Isn't this game at like one? No, Andy's game. What time is Andy's game? Two, or 150. 150? Yeah. Okay, we'll have time. Yeah, so we're going to check out um, Felipe and Isaac for bros hoops. And yeah, y'all see the area. You can show them. 
a real nice big school, man. It took us an arm and a leg just to get in here, bro. But um, yeah, man. We're gonna see what it's like. Um, yeah. Basketball. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, thank you. Oh man, show them this. See how the lighting is. It's a really beautiful campus, man. What is the name of this school, bro? Huh? You know what the name of the school is? This school is massive, man. <laughs> Jeez. I got you coming in through like the furthest one. I know. <laughs> that don't make no sense, bro. Man, the school is beautiful, bro. They like to a couple years old. Wow. Is the school even that big? Like, that much people attend here? That would be crazy. Yeah, a lot of Hispanic people, huh? Yeah. Where's Bro's Hoop? Hey, bro! Felipe, I need you to play good, boy. He's locked in. I like that. He's locked in. Man, these kids are dope. Turn me up, turn me up, Isaac. Turn me up. I'm not sure who doing that right here, but he could go too. A lot of talent, a lot of good talent out here, man. Yeah. Yeah. Go to work, go to work, go to work. Good shot, boy. Good That's how you work, that's how you work. Lock up, Felipe, lock up. This kid could go, bro. That's a good take. Did he double dribble or something back there? Oh my god. Why y'all feel like y'all lost? Because what? We played like Because, you know, some people weren't doing what they were supposed to do. Everybody just had to be on the same page and hustle. I like that answer and I like your answer. From what I saw, I feel like like I already kinda I already kinda talked to Isaac before, but like I said, don't be afraid so that's all it is, right? All right. We're gonna be training in the lab next week, so just keep that in mind. Oh, so he's gonna be playing tomorrow. Yeah. I was confused. I'm like, I see he's on the bench, but he's not even playing. They lost by eleven, but um, you could see the effort. The effort was there. The, the effort wasn't a question. It was just playing together. Basketball is a team sport. <sighs> yeah, man, basketball is a team sport. If you can't work with your team, you're not gonna get far. So we on the way to Andy's game right now. So we're gonna see how that goes. After that, we're gonna get some work done. Um, yeah, that's pretty much what we got scheduled for today. So I'm gonna just, I'm gonna just take y'all to Andy's game. I think what we did today is like it's moving so fast in the sense of like there's so much stuff to be done a partnership with driven basketball and everglades high school which is good yeah we just need to take a greater level of importance to that we strayed away from that because we started having success yeah. then that brought comfortability all right so i just uh i just put up to next level and um, they're gonna have a practice and basically I'm just gonna be like an assistant coach or like just helping out with um, with the driven driven AAU team. I know y'all heard it when we were watching him play. I was kind of upset because it was like Deshaun can score. It's just why is he not on the court? One of the things is definitely conditioning. I think Deshaun gets gets tired quickly. Today that's definitely gonna be one of my main focuses.
But yeah, you got a personal trainer area there. And then, uh, got this little chill area. They have like a little mattress area, kind of like similar to downstairs. You can do squats, you can do all types. All right, let's get it. Which ball y'all using? Which, which ball y'all using? It's the end of the training session. Them boys, they about to play king of the court up to seven. You're going to see who's really been putting in the work. Y'all boys see my fit. My fit a little uh today, but you know, trainerly in the building. Good shot, boy. That's one. He up one right now. That's two. I know you was a shooter like that, Wallace. Just be quick, bro. That's a great take. See, all he did was get to a spot. I like that, bro. I like that. I like that. It's that simple. It's that simple. Wallace got four. Good bucky, good bucky. Good bucky. Hard defense. It's that easy. See what I'm trying to tell you? It's that easy. Some type of competitive something, bro. They gotta be competitive, bro. Where to shoot it? Where to shoot it? <laughs> we we gonna work on it, bro. But you ain't even have to do all that, bro. Just get contact and then finish. Get your points up and then work on your shot. Way to work, Wallace. Don't you got two points, Andy? You trash talking, bro. Get to the lane, finish. Exactly, bro, like, it's that simple. Good, exactly, exactly. Great take. Get a bucket. Be efficient, Andy, be efficient. Where to work, where to work, where to work, where to work, where to work. Good shot. Watch your mouth. Good shot, look. Easy point. Then I'll go to work on Andy. Woo! Good shot. Tough shot, bro. Tough shot. Exactly. Just be more under control and that's there every day, bro. Do a step back, as you just blow by. You're gonna see how quick you are. That's a great move. Way to work, way to work. Way to work, way to work. That's gonna Way to work, way to work. We got these boys working, man. We got these boys working. We got these boys working. They, they're doing a five man weave right now. They're doing a the drill called the five man weave. And then it looks like when they coming down, they got to finish on a play with a defender. And yeah, we just expanding, bro. Just expanding. Eight, seven, six, five, four, 30, 29, 28, 27, 26, 25. 24, 30, 29, 28, 27, 27, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 12, 11, 10. You gotta stop being slow. You gotta make, yo, that's what I expect to see out of everybody on every possession. So I like that drill because you gotta work hard on every single possession, defensive and offensively. All right, and if you want to cook, go ahead. If, you want to, if you're that type of person who can attack, you can attack. Uh, listen, tomorrow morning, I expect to see a lot of people on the beach. Mm -hmm. I know. Mostly going to do agility workout on the sand. I'm letting you know. You're not going to really do much running. It's all going to be cone work, ladder work, hopping up, all that good stuff. Three round three, five, no, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Family. As y'all just said, that was like a full week. 
throughout the 10,000 hours or well, 20,000 hours that we're doing. So yeah, this been this was the last practice. Um, it was with Driven. Uh, we just partnered with them, man. You know, Coach Randy. Talk to talk about how how you see the how you see the program. What we gonna do? With it? Yeah. So we're here. We building. First of all, it's our one year anniversary. This time last year, Driven was started. Really excited. Really happy with the momentum. I'm proud of everybody, and it's great to have some young guys back with me that I used to play with. The other program, we're not going to name it, but it's all good. Very excited about the upcoming middle school teams, high school teams. We're trying to get everybody on the map, and it's all about how driven our boys want to be. So um, I'm appreciative. Um, we're trying to produce college uh, stars, and um, let's have some fun. That's it. Yes, sir. We, we documented the whole progress to the top, everything. So we're just going to take you out through the whole process. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um Last thing I want to say is about Deshaun. The last time I practiced with him, uh, it was definitely like one of those practices where it was the best practice we've had with him. So, uh, just wanted to put that out there. All right, y'all boys. See you in the next episode. All right, yes, hey, my guys. Hey, I see y'all. I see the, the multi.